Try Untitled Gun Testing by PXNN7. All right, so this game that I was recommended is a pretty interesting one because it doesn't even have a thousand visits and it has no active players whatsoever. So it really makes me wonder how the hell this person found this game. This game is so obscure, I couldn't actually look up Untitled Guns Testing. I actually had to look up this guy's name and then through his profile find this game. And I thought this game was gonna be complete garbage, like awful. But it turns out this is an actual somewhat functioning game. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so here we are in game. And as you see, the map is apparently D-Day, which that's kind of weird. I, I didn't know that was okay. And I did play a little bit this off camera. So I do have a general idea how this works. But essentially all this game really is, is a gun testing zone. And the guns are actually decent. So we go to loadouts and we select a primary. You have a bunch of guns. And for the video, we're just gonna start off with the M4A1. And then we're also gonna select the Deagle. And then they also have a flamethrower. And it also shows the spread of the gun, which I thought was pretty cool too, because not many games actually incorporate that. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we start, there you go. Alright, so when you get in the game, you're met with, you know, a nice little fun little map. And one thing I found really weird about this is that its movement system is really weird. So essentially all you're doing is to move around because there is no running. You have to dash. I have no idea why this is the movement system. It literally just is. But there are little NPCs that spawn in and you can actually go ahead and kill them while they try killing you. <laughs> and I died. And for whatever odd reason, this game actually has like some normal guns. Like take a look at this M4A1 right here. It's an actual M4A1 and it isn't like, I'm pretty sure an ACS gun model. This is actually like its own thing. And even they even have a flamethrower, a custom built flamethrower. And they have a cool looking deal, I guess. The deal's all right. All right, so I went ahead and switched the game because I got followed by a viewer and I think they messed up the NPC spawns. So hopefully they'll start spawning sometime soon. But in the meantime, I'm using an M249 and look at this bad boy. Doesn't this look sick? The shadows and all that good stuff are done really well in this. The only thing I have an issue with is when you shoot the gun, the belt doesn't move. Maybe the bell is moving, it just doesn't have an animation to it. But yeah, it, it appears to be that this game actually has plenty of guns. And every single gun has like its own custom reload animation. I mean, just look at this one. That is so clean. And I'm pretty sure these are all custom made, which is just insane because this game doesn't even have a thousand visits. This game is like the most dead thing I've ever seen, but it's so cool. All right, so hopefully I spawned in some NPCs now so we could actually use this Barret that we got going here. I don't know where they would spawn, but hopefully they're here somewhere because it's kind of lonely out here. 15 minutes later. Okay, well, it appears to be I probably broke the NPCs then because there is not a single NPC to be found anywhere. So I guess that just leaves us to shoot the walls or whatever. But here is the Barret, and I love this Barret, dude. I mean, the sniper scope could be a little bit better. If they added a little bit of blur on the outside of the scope, I think it would look sick. But what about the Stevens DB? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting something big and bold, but I really feel like this game does have the foundations to be a somewhat decent FPS. I mean, look at these guns! And they even have the R8 revolver, but like you can actually do that thing in Counter-Strike where like you kind of like, you tap it and you can move the little, uh, what's that thing called? What is it, the chamber? Yeah! All right, so what about this RPG? Okay, that was kind of sick. I love the, I love the little kick it gives you. Oh, but there's no more ammo. Oh, come on. But honestly, I'd highly recommend checking out this game because it really is something really special. Despite it having literally no players and only a less than a thousand visits, it has a better gun system than most FPSs I've played on Roblox. Now, if they could fix the movement, that'd be really cool because I really hate this whole dashing movement. But besides from that, they honestly have a really good game on their hands. But yeah, thank you for recommending me this video, kind soldier in the Discord. I really do appreciate it, and I hope the owner of the game sees this, because honestly, this game is really sick, and hopefully we could do some kind of event on here, maybe revive the game a little bit. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!